co-promoting a franchise event that is almost a joke. When it's a joke, it's more like something that's laughable, that contains humor, but isn't 100% uh, a farce. So it's jokey joke where it's got uh, some semblance of truth to it. Uh, an example for that would be training table, where CS majors would come to get trained in the same way that student athletes get training table. For example, reverse VC, where VCs would come to pitch. Sort of sounds like a joke, because why would a VC need to pitch you, but it still is a franchise that works. When I say co-promote a franchise, I mean a franchise in the Stanford engineering sense of the word, which is like a Hollywood franchise. So it's a, a tent pole event that produces revenue. I don't mean franchise in the, let's spend $200,000 to buy a sandwich chain that you spend 80 hours a week and only make $60,000 a year. Not that kind of sub, not that kind of franchise. So a uh, uh, legitimately Hollywood sense, Silicon Valley sense, Stanford engineering sense of the word franchise. With the specific example of reverse VC, um, it's been open sourced, meaning there is no fee to use uh, one of the 19 franchises that I installed at Stanford engineering. So reverse VC is something that if you wanted to charge VCs to pay you to pitch you plus 35 to 50 people, you can do and you can research hashtag reverse VC, where VCs come and pay you to pitch founders, especially CS majors who might be founders. So that's a, a franchise that you can promote and Martin Shen did it gloriously well, which further led him to do a great startup, uh, Martin Shen. In the spirit of practicing promotion and practicing uh, promoting something, selling something, uh, the sequence and the, the evolution and the development uh, and the process of the practice all are meant to help gear you to eventually sell something of your own, uh, but initially start by doing something small and then doing a franchise, which is like a medium-ish kind of event, but still small and tidy. And then later on, it leads you into doing your own thing. Uh, in this case, Martin Chen has about. Up like upwards, out like outside, up out. These types of uh, franchises are very often specific sequels, where Reverse VC is a sequel to the reverse job fair that David Weekly had. Uh, Foo has a sequel called Bar. Foo, Friends of O'Reilly, Bar, as in Foo Bar. Uh, Ted. Those TED conferences, well, across the street is Bill, B-I-L. Sundance Film Festival has Slamdance. So these are all kind of jokey, but they're real. I mean, Slamdance is a real film festival with real films that are awesome that just weren't in Sundance. So they had to crash or slam in. And later on, I'll even talk about how I have a handful of not only franchises, but also uh, sequels. You can even leverage an existing franchise by co-promoting an existing franchise. Uh, for example, hashtag or real world YJ Live, Yoga Journal Live. Yes, there is a convention of yoga practitioners and yoga teachers, and they meet in, of all places, oh, surprise, San Francisco. Yoga Journal Live, where it's a conference for yoga people that are interested in yoga. And you can do a sequel event, or you can actually co-promote the exact real world event called Yoga Journal Live. It's uh, January 15 to 18, Hyatt Embarcadero. You can co-promote an event during Super Bowl week. Uh, an example of this is an undergrad, Nick Tipman. T-I-P-P-M-A-N-N. -N. He did a Shark Tank viewing party where he actually got one of the judges to show up. Mark Cuban. Where, so during Super Bowl, there's a week of parties during Super Bowl week. It's where uh, Media Row has Radio Row, it has ESPN Zone, and what you can do is you can do a less than minimum viable party, LTMVP, hashtag LTMVP, at Super Bowl 
in San Francisco. Last year's in Scottsdale, the year before it was in New York, and so on. So you could do a week, participate in a week of parties. But you're specifically practicing, so that way you'll eventually do your own thing, is you're practicing the, the protocol of Anchor plus Satellite. So Anchor is the Super Bowl. Satellite is Tuesday party before that Sunday party. Anchor plus satellite is a great technique where you're trying to augment the anchor by doing your own satellite. You're trying to accentuate the value of a franchise by doing a sub-franchise or a specific franchise. You're augmenting the value of a TechCrunch party by doing the after party, which I did the very first TechCrunch after party uh, for my friend Mike Arrington. In doing Anchor Plus Satellite, you'd think that the Anchor event would get upset that the satellite event is getting so much publicity, it's starting to explode and take off because the do things that don't scale part but has momentum. Do, hashtag DTTDSBHM. You'd think that the Anchor event, Anchor Company, would get upset. They don't. They have holes that they realize. I mean, who programs midnight keynote content? Who programs 11 p.m. educational content, 11 p.m. as in after dinner? Nobody. And so having that content rise and bubble up uh, is very helpful. So that's why Anchor Plus Satellite works great for when you do your own thing. Happily sell at 0% commission because initially you work at 0% and later on you can work at a higher percentage. The important thing right now is just simply the practice of it. And I can't stress this enough to actually go do and sell something. This is lecture number 15, so has everybody sold one thing already? Hopefully yes. Reach out to me if you haven't sold anything yet uh, at 0%. I'll, let's sell something real and you can keep 100% of the commission. Not 100% of the revenue, 100% of the commission. And reach out to me and I'll tag team sell with you. Just like selling a franchise, you can sell a sequel event. And previously I mentioned that I had sold the first TechCrunch after party. Very true, very fun. And selling an after party is one of probably the best ways because most people that do an anchor event forget about doing a satellite immediately after their event. They're just thankful that from seven o'clock to 10 o'clock, they're hopeful that they survive. They're not gonna think, oh, let's do another event that starts at 10.15 across the street. That's not how an event promoter or event producer thinks. They think, I just wanna nail our own event. And then afterwards, people, the cool people, they wanna go do the next cool thing. That's where the after party kicks in.